The defending NFC champions coming off a bye, and Ken Wisenhunt said it happened at the perfect time for the Cardinals. Say how are you folks, Jason Horowitz, NFL.com's Pat Jason. Kerwin. Glad to be with you here on the NFL Preview Show presented by Tyson Anytizers. Houston 2-2 two two at 1-2 Arizona. And let's start with the Cardinals, Pat, sure. because the, before the bye game, they got hammered at home by Indianapolis. You talked to Ken Wisenhunt this week. What did he say? I, I asked Ken, what would you do at the time? And he said, we went back and really worked on the running game. And, and they should. The running game is awful right now in Arizona. And they went out and got Beanie Wells. They need to get a running game going because that quarterback, Kurt Warner, he's not 100% healthy and the run game would slow down the rush so that's what they did and I'm expecting some dividends and this week you're taking on a team in Houston that before last weekend's game against Oakland was worst in the NFL in uh, rush defense we throw Oakland out there because that that offense is horrible so in this ball game, do you think Arizona can run the football? I think they can. I think they're going to be committed to trying to do that. And what do I mean by that? Show me 30 running plays, Kenny Wisenhut, and then I know you were committed to the run game, and I think we're going to see that. All right, what about the two receivers? Because we sure. are going to see a pair of receivers in this ball game, and really three when you throw Anquan Bolden in there as well. But Larry Fitzgerald, Andre Johnson, a lot of people have the discussion, who is the best receiver in football? They're going to be on the field mm -hmm. the same game here, Pat. Which one has to be more involved and has to be good for his quarterback? to have his team have a chance of winning. Well, first off, Andre's averaging almost 17 yards of reception, and Larry, surprisingly, is down about 10 and a half yards of reception. So right off the bat, Andre is doing more things down the field, which they need. When you look at them, and because you mentioned Anquan Bolden, because of Anquan Bolden, I think there's a lot more pressure on Andre Johnson to deliver because in Arizona, they can go to other places. Really, they can't do that in Houston. You know, it's funny with the Cardinals right now because you look at the two losses, uh, 10 points against Indianapolis, 16 points in week one against San Francisco. Week two, the one in the middle there, they went to Jacksonville and just hammered the Jaguars. Kurt Warner set the record uh, for uh, best completion percentage uh, on one given day. What do you expect here in this game? I think Arizona coming off the bye is is regrouping a little bit. And Houston, to me, still has issues on defense. And, you know, they've had some issues with illness down there. Brian Cushing was sent home and and not allowed around the players. They've had a, they had a tight end diagnosed with the swine flu. So I think those things are a problem down and we can't leave that out of the equation yeah. when evaluating this game. I think Arizona comes in because of the opportunities to throw and that both of these teams aren't very good on third down defense. But I think Arizona comes in and gets a win coming off their bye. And that case of the swine flu you were talking about was the first diagnosed case so far this year right. uh, in the NFL. A lot of colleges are dealing with uh, flu issues all over the country. Did you live in a dorm? Well, or, or you, you got that's going to happen. You got 50,000 students. It's going to happen. All right, it's 4.15 p.m. Eastern on CBS. Should be a great game. Houston at Arizona. For more on it, stay right here with CBSSports.com. That'll do it for the NFL Preview Show, presented by Tyson Anytizers, the meaty good man snack. For Pat Kerwin, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.